In one of our latest videos, I showed you how to use limiter to achieve your desired loudness. That's why the title of this one may confuse you, but the truth is that limiter has less to do with loudness that you might think. Limiter is reserved for mastering stage and it only works great if you have some key points checked. So without any further ado, let's jump right into those. Bass is the enemy of loudness. Yes, I said that as a bass music lover. While in rap and hip hop it's fairly easy to achieve minus 9 or minus 8 LUFS with those huge 808 sounds, once you switch to electronic music genres, it's nearly impossible to stay competitive with the same amount of low end. Let those quick reference readouts speak for themselves. No matter which track I choose as a reference, by the way, those are very similar to my mix, the level line suggests to turn my bass down. The simplest and first approach to tame your bass is to lower its level in the context. That's where you need to trust your ears and reference the most. When it comes down to shaping and removing, it gets a little controversial. Some will say that low cut around 25 Hz will do the job, while some will roast you for using low cut instead of low shelf. I think that win-win scenario is our plugin Bassroom. Just take a look how cutting curve looks. It lets you literally shape the bass tone without any dangerous cuts. Other cool thing is that once you have a reference you really like, you can use it as a target source. As always, we encourage you to make your own decisions, but you can be completely sure about those starting points. Bassroom takes your mix and your reference tracks into account, rather than just giving you some generic presets. Now, if you thought that lowering bass is controversial, then brace yourself. We gonna boost the harsh area to make our tracks louder. I'm sorry, that's how human ears work. We are the most sensitive to the range from 3.5 to 5 kHz. If you still working on the mix down, the best practice would be to focus main instruments to be the most present in that area. But what if you're working on the full mix? First route is to grab an EQ and focus it around 4 kHz and do a slight but broad boost. Things already start to get louder. It all depends on your mix and the side information you have in this range, but you can also try focusing it more on a mid-channel. With our Mixer EQ, it's really easy, since all you need to do is to hover your mouse over the stereo icon and move it to precisely adjust the amount of mid and side information you want to boost or cut. Now, before I show you another approach, just make sure to click the subscribe button if you haven't done it already. Our videos help you not only get better in mixing and mastering, but also to be more familiar with our plugins. It's not that I don't believe in your urge to research them, but believe me, there are some hidden gems. Second approach is to use saturation focus on that area. In general, saturation is widely know from adding loudness by introducing harmonics. With that in mind, let's use our plugin Animate, especially the Ignite panel. First, determine the range you want to saturate. To double check, just increase the amount slider a bit and then click Listen button. Just make sure you not go too crazy with it. The decision which one of those you're gonna use highly depends on your track and the processing you want to apply after. For this one, I'm gonna stick with the slight EQ boost since I got one more trick to show you. As I spoke about harmonics before, it's always a good practice to try to apply them to the whole track. Beauty behind it is adding them to the signal without squashing your dynamics with compression or limiting process. Try to use plugins that introduce both even and odd harmonics. Just to not get into too many details and science, even harmonics are even numbered multiples of the fundamental frequencies and create rich and pleasing sound. Odd harmonics add the odd numbered multiples of the fundamental frequencies, which give the signal an edgier, more aggressive sound. As you hear, once I increase the harmonics, the signal gets louder without drastically changing the peak level.
just like with previous steps I mentioned here, you need to be very gentle with those. Keep in mind that it's not a sound design session, so applying obnoxious processing on mix or in mastering stage will result in very unpleasing sound. Our limiter plugin also gives you an option to introduce harmonics with energy slider. And while it's a good practice to try different amounts, you always need to reanalyze the adjustments after to adjust it to your loudness target. And speaking of it, while all of those tips can be applied to literally any genre of music, keep in mind that it's not always necessary to be as loud as possible. Sure, as we speak about EDM genres where tracks are gonna be played in between others in DJ sets, it is better to stay competitive. Although that doesn't mean you can't go with more dynamics route. Tips from this video will help you to achieve more loudness without squashing the signal heavily. If you like this one and seek for more, just make sure to check our other videos.